Hey guys, it's Sierra. Welcome back to my channel. And today we are going to be going to the YouTuber garage sale. So a couple days ago, I was scrolling through my Twitter and I got a ton of people tagging me in a post by Adeline Morin. So Adeline is like a lifestyle YouTuber and she and a bunch of other YouTubers who do like beauty and fashion decided to have a big like pop-up garage sale with all of their clothes and makeup and PR stuff for charity. So I thought it would be super, super fun to to go show all of you guys what it's like because not everyone lives in LA and has the opportunity to go and also see what I can find in terms of some new like outfits and accessories and all that stuff. And it's all going to charity. So I don't even feel guilty if I spend a ton of money. So I got my little vlog camera. We are going to LA. Let's do this. Okay, so we just got to the YouTuber garage sale event. Here are pictures of everyone who's selling stuff. Now let me show you the line. So we got here 30 minutes before and we are about a block down. It is very crowded, but honestly about what I expected. I would expect it to be about this busy. I mean, look at all these people. Can I ask you guys a question? What time did you get here to get this early in line? 8 a.m.? Oh my gosh, well, you'll get the good stuff. <laughs> And there's Skylar. <laughs> okay, you guys, the line is moving. It's like 12.05 right now, and look who we ran into. Hi. It's Rachel, if you guys remember her from Confidence Makeover. Her channel's Ladle by Ladle. So we are going to hit the sale, the three of us, our squad right here. Let's do it. Okay, so the line has slowed a little bit. A security guard just told us they're keeping 75 people in the like warehouse at a time, so as people get out, We'll get in. It looks like there's maybe a hundred more people in front of us, so it's gonna be a minute. 116. 133. All right, you guys, we are so close. Here we are, almost at the front. I'm so excited. What time is it? 1.45. 1.45, we got in line at 11.30. Yeah. So it's been two hours and 15 minutes. Yeah. <laughs> Let's do it. Okay, so they are labeled by who it is. So this is Emma Chamberlain wrap, Nikki Damar wrap. Adelaide Moore. Whose rack is my style? Who should we start with? This could work. Yeah. What size is that? That's a medium. But oh, that looks kind of big. Who's this one? Adeline. This is Adeline Morin. Very yellow. It's the Nia Sue rack. I am an OG dance mom stan, so maybe we'll have to get some of those. All right, this is the Remy Ashton rack. Let's see if I can find anything here. Good job on the labeling. They've got like everything ready to go. Oh, this is like a snow jacket and it's a large. I actually kind of need a new snow jacket. guys so here is my final products two bags and a box of shoes two other ladies over there check it out and then we'll be going up to the meet and greet okay so we're in a meet and greet line to go upstairs but all of the people just walked out here so are we still waiting for a meet and greet I don't know but I'm really happy you can I meet you oh my gosh Rachel I'm your biggest fan <laughs> Okay, so this is the meet and greet area. And then down there is where everyone is shopping. So we are officially done. Skylar, you can pee. <laughs> All right, we just got back to my house. Skylar and I are about to go through everything that we bought at the sale. And I was planning on filming my little haul part of the video tonight, but uh, it's six o'clock, I'm tired. It's been a long day. I woke up at seven o'clock to get ready this morning because we had to leave my house at like 8.30, so I'm very tired. So uh, yeah, I will tell you guys all the ins and outs of the sale tomorrow or as you're watching this right now. Okay, so let's talk about this YouTuber charity garage sale, the good, the bad, what I actually ended up getting. So let's start with the positives of this event. Everything that I think was done and planned really well that helped the day to go super smoothly. So this event was mainly organized and started by a YouTuber named Adeline Morin, and then a bunch of other YouTubers were kind of involved in it as well, but she was definitely the one like spearheading it. So first thing, I think she did a wonderful job at making this event organized, 
safe and well planned all together. Like I was so glad that they limited the amount of people they let inside at one time because that made it so much safer, so much more enjoyable and easier to move around when you were actually inside shopping in the pop-up shop. And the line outside really wasn't that bad. I think everyone who came to the event, even people who showed up at like three o'clock when we were leaving, eventually got in. So I thought that was planned really, really well. They had security that they had hired. It definitely felt like a safe environment. There wasn't any like crazy mobs or fights or anything like that. I also thought it was really great that they had each individual item labeled by who had actually donated it. Of course, it was great to go and donate to charity and support a good cause, but it was also just really cool to be able to get some, you know, big YouTuber beauty guru hand-me-downs. And it was awesome to know exactly which item was from which person. I think that was really cool. And I also noticed that a lot of the other people who were there, especially some of the younger fans, we're so, so excited at the idea of actually wearing, you know, Nikki DeMar's jacket or Adeline Morin's shoes or Alicia Marie's shorts, whatever. I think that was cool. And it probably took a really long time to label everything. So thumbs up for that. They also priced all the items really fairly. Like we were having this conversation in line, me, Rachel and Skylar, is everything gonna be really cheap? Is it gonna be marked up from the retail price because they belong to YouTubers and it's for charity? But I felt like everything was only slightly higher than like a thrift store price. Like when I go through each of the items I got, I'll tell you how much everything was, but I thought everything was priced really fairly. And the last thing before I get into some of my criticisms, it was just so cool to see how happy this made so many of the younger fans especially. There was this little girl in front of us in line for the meet and greet who was in a big girl supporting girl sweatshirt. She was with her mom. The mom was like, honey, are you so excited? Like you're gonna meet your favorite YouTuber. The little girl was like so excited. She was like crying and just so happy. And it was so, so cute to see like how happy this whole event made so many of these young girls and a lot of the older fans too. Like there were people my age and older who were like equally as excited. So it was just cool to see all that positivity come out of the day. But with that being said, let's get into some of my criticisms. So first thing, first of all, there were a lot of YouTubers who were listed to have donated things that I did not see a single item from them. And now granted, we did get into the event, like, you know, I think an hour and a half after it started, but it was pretty clear that some YouTubers who had donated did not donate a lot or did not donate at all. I saw Aspen Ovar's name on that list and me and Skylar were like ready to get some of her like cute home decor and clothes cause I love her taste. Didn't see anything from her and a lot of other YouTubers too. Second thing, the meet and greet was, I would say the most poorly organized part of this event. There was a list of YouTubers who were confirmed to be there for the meet and greet. And when we got there, the only YouTuber who was doing a meet and greet was Adeline. And I know it was her event. So I'm sure she was the one who was like totally committed to being there from start to finish. But when we came upstairs to the meet and greet, there was a group of some of the other YouTubers who were there just like sitting at a table eating their lunch who like didn't say hi or like acknowledge any of the people who came up to the meet and greet, which I like totally get that they were taking a break like 100%. But I feel like if I was at a meet and greet and I needed to take a break, I would go do it in a different room because it was a little bit awkward, especially if, you know, a fan was walking up the stairs who that person eating lunch was like their favorite creator in the world. It would be kind of sad to have them just like not acknowledge you so that I thought that was a little bit poorly organized and you guys also saw in that vlog clip there was a period of time where we didn't know if the meet and greet was like canceled or if it was still going all the girls who had been upstairs taking pictures just kind of like walked downstairs and left and then when we got up there it was only Adelaine still doing photos so I thought that whole thing was not quite as well organized but that being said I have to give props to Adelaine for that because she was so sweet she was so nice to us and to everyone else who was there and you could tell that she was just a really genuine person who wanted to make sure that everyone had a good experience. And my last critique, I think it would have been nice if they had some YouTubers donating clothes who were of a wider size variety. The people who were attending the event like me were in all different sizes. You know, there were some girls who were super small and some girls who were plus size, some girls like me in the middle, but almost all of the clothes that were for sale there were either in a size small with a few items that were in a medium. And for me, it was kind of difficult to find clothes that were actually going to fit me. And I'm sure that there were girls there who couldn't find anything that fit them. And maybe Adeline tried to get YouTubers of a wider size variety to donate, but those were the only ones who were interested. I don't know the ins and outs of it, but I do know that it was a very limited sizing variety. With that being said though, I did end up finding some clothes that fit me. So now comes the part of the video where I'm gonna show you everything I got. 
The first thing I have is this long yellow pea coat in a size medium from the brand Shein. And this was on the rack labeled from Adeline Morin. So this was her jacket. I thought it was interesting that it was from Shein because uh, that is definitely a cheaper clothing brand. I've done a video on Shein clothes before and they were not very good quality, but this jacket feels really nice. It fit me when I put it on. So I decided to get it. It was $25. The next thing I got was this black wrap style crop top from a brand called Lorette that I've actually never heard of before, but it feels really high quality and it looks really nice. This is something that's totally my style and this was from Miss Remy Ashton, aka Remy Cruz's rack. It is in a size medium and was only $7, which I feel like is a pretty good deal. I tried on the jackets over my clothes when we were at the event, but I didn't get a chance to try on any of the actual shirts because, you know, wasn't trying to get naked in public. Also, quick little note I should add, I only got tops and jackets. I didn't get any pants because first of all, all of the pants were really, really small, like size two and size four. I'm a size 10 or 12. Those were not gonna fit me in a million years. Whereas jackets and tops, even if they were in a size that's a little bit smaller for me are, you know, they can be worn a little bit differently. Pants are kind of like very difficult to size. Another thing from Remy, this is a cute little pink tube top from Free People actually, which I didn't even look at the brand label until I got home. And I was like, dang, I just got a Free People tube top for seven bucks, yes. <laughs> but seriously, I was excited about this. I don't wear a lot of tube tops, but I've been wearing like jean jackets a lot lately. And I feel like this would look so cute under a jean jacket and I wouldn't even care that it was strapless because I could just wear a regular bra and you wouldn't be able to tell because of the jacket. Oh. Also, didn't say the size. This is in a medium slash large, which is my typical size at Free People anyways. So this is the one thing that actually came in my size. Next, I got this denim jacket with this cool kind of like pink crochet detail around it. Looks a little bit vintage retro. This was from Alicia Marie and it was only $10. Also, it is from Shein, which surprised me because again, pretty cheap brand and uh, these girls can probably afford a lot nicer things than Shein, but Either way, I thought it was cute and it was in a size large, so it fit me well. Next up, this jacket, which I was very surprised fit me because it was from Emma Chamberlain's rack, but it's this little white windbreaker from the brand Alligator, which I haven't heard of, but it looks really nice. This was $35 and it feels super high quality. I'm guessing this is something that she wore like really big and baggy, but on me, it fit perfectly and it doesn't have any sizing tags on it. So I'm thinking it must just either be like one size fits all or the tags were just ripped out, but it fits me really well. Now, this big box right here was a freaking pain to carry around the event and carry to the car, but I had to get it because these shoes are so freaking cute. So this was the most expensive thing I got. These are a pair of high brown boots from Tila Dunn. The brand is Enzo Angelini. I don't know, I've never heard of that, but the shoes are so cute. These are in a size eight. I'm usually a seven and a half or an eight in shoes. So I didn't even bother trying them on. So hopefully they fit, but I have been looking for a pair of high brown boots like this. And even though these were $50, which is really expensive for like a charity event, these feel so freaking nice. They've clearly never been even worn. The bottom of the shoes are like brand new untouched. And uh, I just think these are so cute. They also have elastic on the side, so they will probably fit my big calves, which is great. And I think I said, these were from Tila Dunn. This was the only thing I got from Tila's section, but probably my favorite thing that I got at the event. And I got a second pair of shoes, these little pink sneakers that definitely had been worn, but they looked pretty brand new other than the dirt on the bottom. So I'm guessing these were probably only worn once or twice and the laces are like super, super clean. These were $20 and these were the only thing that were weren't marked. This is the only item that I got that it didn't say what YouTuber had donated it. These were in a pile of other shoes that had Alicia Marie's name on them though. So I'm gonna guess these were from Alicia. They kind of look like her style too, with like the light pink and the gold on the side. So that's what I'm gonna assume. They are from a brand called Canis. I think. Never heard of them, but really cute shoes. And these were 20 bucks. And there was a ton of like makeup and beauty products there. But by the time we got in at 145, they had really been picked over quite a bit. I did find one product that piqued my interest though. This is a Kapari Coconut Rose Toner. This was $20 brand new in the packaging donated by Janine Amapula. And I have actually just recently got into toners. I love toners and the one that I've been using just right now. So when I saw this, I was like, I love coconut. I love rose, let's get this and try it out. I probably could have bought a toner at the store for around the same price, 20 bucks, but at least when I bought it at the event, it was going to charity. So, got this. And the last thing, 
I got. I, I can't believe I actually paid money for this. I can't believe I actually bought this, but it was for charity and it's pretty freaking hilarious. So I, I had to buy it. Skylar and I were walking through the racks and she pulled this off the Nikki Damar rack and we started dying laughing. This is like a silver chain, rainbow, bedazzled bikini top. And it was $5. It's like a necklace like clasp at the top and like necklace chain, but it's a bra. And I, I have no idea why the heck Nikki Damar had this. If she wore it for a video, I don't know, but we were intrigued. So <laughs> I bought it. And obviously you might be thinking, Sierra, when the heck are you gonna wear this? Well. Let me tell you what video is coming up next week. You guys got to see everything that I bought at the YouTube charity garage sale in this video, but in my video next Monday, I am going to be wearing and styling all of these YouTube beauty guru hand-me-downs for a week. I love doing style swap videos and I've dressed like YouTubers and celebrities for videos before, but usually I'm recreating their outfits. In that video, I'm actually going to be wearing their physical clothes, their hand-me-downs that I bought at the garage sale. So uh, yeah, I'm gonna have to figure out how the heck I'm gonna style that weird rainbow necklace bikini top thing. Don't know how that's gonna work, but uh, make sure to be looking out for that next Monday where I'm going to be styling all of these clothes for my week. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing this video and my experience at the YouTuber charity garage sale. I had a lot of fun. It was really, really cool and great that all the money is going to a good cause. So props to Adeline for setting up and coordinating this event and I am so excited to figure out how I'm gonna style all of these items this week. So I will see you guys on Wednesday with another new video. Bye!